This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I'm Jillian Trudeau. Welcome on into North Dakota Today. Yeah, and I'm Jordan Schreer back again on the couch this week. Yes, of course. I mean, you're always invited. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> we always okay. love to have you on. Well, I'll just make myself comfortable. <laughs> I basically just wake up from here yeah. in the morning and then uh, go do the morning news and then come oh back here gosh. and sleep for the rest of the day. Yeah, so. I was going to say, this is like the tail end of your day. Uh, Just like Ashlyn, yeah. Yeah, no, but it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's fun <laughs> to be here. You get comfy. Um, but everyone talking about, obviously, oh the major news that mm -hmm. happened the other day. Tina Turner passed away at the age of 83. Yeah. Which is very sad and a reminder of all of the amazing music yeah. that she has brought to the world. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just even, we'll show you guys an obituary um, story here, but um, looking through it, she just like talked about how she transformed songs into rock and roll. And mm -hmm. it was really cool to just like hear her like talk about it and everything. Because of course, she's iconic for the uh, uh, Roland. Proud Mary. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know the name of it, but like most I people knew just it. think of it okay. rolling on the river. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I mean, it is actually a, a, a Creedence Clearwater Revival song. Um, they're the ones that it's much slower when they perform it. Okay. And then uh, uh, Tina took it and yeah. amped it up a few notches okay. and, and made it into the uh, uh, you know standard that it really is today. Yeah. But besides that, I mean, uh, again, we're going to hear in just a little mm -hmm. bit, so I don't want to talk too much, but just truly a musical icon. Absolutely. I think no matter who you are or what you are, you knew Tina Turner, or at least you knew the hair and the yeah. fringy dresses yeah, and the, the dance to rolling on the river, yeah. you know, or Proud Mary, I should say. Um, anyway. Oh yeah, no, she's going down in history. Yeah, Absolutely. oh, for sure, uh, won't be forgotten. But let's get that story now from uh, Stephanie Alum has our tribute to Tina Turner this morning. Proud Mary was one of Tina Turner's signatures, showcasing her unique sound, look, and moves. That's my style. I take great songs and turn them into rock and roll songs on stage. Icon, survivor, a queen of rock and roll. <laughs> Tina Turner began life as Anna Mae Bullock in rural Tennessee. As a teenager, she moved to St. Louis, where she met rocker Ike Turner. Ike was very good to me when I first started my career. Started to sing weekends with him, and we were really close friends. The Ike and Tina Turner Review's first hit came in 1960 with A Fool in Love, a song they performed on Shindig. They married in 1962, and in 1966, recorded River Deep, Mountain High. It was a hit overseas, but flopped in the U.S. Offstage, Ike's drug abuse fueled violent outbursts. I had had a lot of violence. Houses burned, cars shot into the, the lowest that you can think of in terms of violence. After years of physical and emotional abuse, Tina left Ike in the mid-70s with nothing but her name, at one point relying on food stamps to survive. In the early 80s, Turner's cover of Let's Stay Together reignited her career. Private Dancer followed in 1984, a runaway critical and commercial success. The album featured her only number one song. Though she wasn't a fan. I didn't like it. I wasn't accustomed to singing those kind of songs. It was also the title of a 1993 film starring Angela Bassett based on Tina's autobiography. Did the picture do it justice? Yes, I think in a way I, I would have liked for them to have had more truth, but according to Disney, this, it's impossible that people would not have believed the truth. Turner herself appeared in movies such as The Who's Tommy and Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. She sang its theme song. We as well as the theme to the James Bond film, GoldenEye. With a golden eye. One major role she turned down would go to Oprah Winfrey in The Color Purple. It was too close to my personal life. I had just left such a life, and it was too soon to be reminded of. I don't really want to fight no more. 
The What's Love Got to Do With It soundtrack gave Turner another hit. Her personal favorite? You're it's very special because at the time when I got it, no one believed in it but me. Turner continued recording and touring into her 80s. She was honored by the Kennedy Center in 2005 and inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a solo act in 2021, 30 years after her first induction as part of a duo with Ike Turner. All the while, her Buddhist faith kept her going. The cause you make this lifetime can be the effect of a better life the next, next lifetime. It will be better and gets better and better. Oh, amazing. An icon, yeah. truly. Mm -hmm. Now, her family says she died after a long illness at her home outside of Zurich, Switzerland. She actually lived in Europe for quite quite a few many years. Oh, did she? Mm -hmm. Okay, I actually didn't know that. Yep, I was watching some other interviews, and she uh, talked about how she enjoyed living in Europe. She lived in the south of France for a while at oh, the end wow. here in Switzerland. Um, every interview she ever did though that I watched, I love it. She would always point out, she'd say, I'm still an American. I pay American taxes. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just going to make that no. Yeah, yeah. Every time she'd be like, I pay American taxes. I just like to live <laughs> over in other places. But um, it was cool to see her throughout the eras. Um, her hair just kind of just her gradually. Her hair. Yeah. The <laughs> iconic big yes. Tina Turner hair and uh, all of her, uh, the dances that she did and watching her perform mm -hmm. every time. Oh my gosh. Uh, always so good. Energy. I really, well, I, so I think everyone, re, you know, really knows Proud Mary. I think that's just kind yeah. of a song that yeah. Americans just know in general. Um, but I remember when I was younger, I used to watch Oprah all the time. Yeah. Surprise. There you go. And uh, <laughs> Oprah loves Tina Turner. Really? He loves her and she had her on the show so many times and she taught her like her uh, Proud Mary dance moves. And so in it, they were doing it and I remember sitting, uh, I was in the basement as well and I was like, da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> We love it and then uh, yeah, exactly, going at it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I was sitting there and I was like, mm, do, 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 do. Anyway, so to this day, love my that. sister and I do Proud Mary at karaoke. And oh, that's we, a good one. And we do the dance moves yeah. and everything with it. Or like, so. what's love got to do? Uh, oh, that was a reminder. I didn't, yeah. that's not what came off like the top of my head when I thought of Tina Turner, but. Yeah, so, so many songs. So mm -hmm. you got uh, Spotify, Pandora, records, the yep. CD, whatever it is, put it on today. Absolutely. Uh, listen to her stuff. And if you don't, get some, download some. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we have lots coming up on today's show. We're bringing life back into the downtown Fargo with live music. We have the details after the break.